On January 25th, Alabama will carry out the first execution anywhere in the world using a new untested method called nitrogen hypoxia. It's using it to execute Kenneth Eugene Smith, who was convicted for the murder for hire killing of Elizabeth Sennett in Alabama. Smith's co-conspirator was executed in 2010. Death penalty states for years now have had trouble getting lethal injection drugs because more than a decade ago, pharmaceutical companies began removing their drugs from correctional use. Oklahoma, Mississippi, and Alabama all authorized nitrogen hypoxia as an alternative, but Alabama will be the first to carry it out. One big criticism of this method, besides the fact that it's untested, is that there's not a lot known about how it's actually going to be used. Most of the documents from the state have been heavily redacted. We do know that a mask will be placed over Smith's face and that canisters of nitrogen will be piped through the mask, replacing oxygen with nitrogen until his organs shut down and he dies. There have been criticisms from Smith's lawyers, but also human rights advocates from around the world. This could amount to torture or other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment under international human rights law. The side effects aren't known and there are concerns that the execution could go wrong. It's also notable that because of the secrecy around state executions now, when this happens, there will only be five independent media witnesses allowed to see it. 